Good evening. Welcome to Stampin' All Day with Beth. It's Sunday, so it's time for my live. Let's try to get my camera situated here. There we go. Going to get started in just a few minutes. Hi, Carol. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for being here. How are you? It is so nice to be back at home. Hi, Diane. Um, you know how everyone always says, what is the statement? There's no place like home. Hi, Vera. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hello, Roz. Thank you, Roz. It's so good to be home. Um, I um, had the most fabulous, fabulous vacation that I could have ever dreamed of. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Bev. And um, everything was magical. Everything was wonderful. Hello, Melody. But, you know, and you have so much fun and then you're ready to come home and get back to your normal life and sleep in your bed with your pillow and all that kind of thing. So, I mean, I could go on and on and on for days about my vacation. One, to spend um, four days with my eldest child, 24-7, um, it was wonderful. Um, then another three day or two days with one of my other daughters and her family, that was wonderful. And um, now back home and trying to catch up and get busy, but I missed all of you. If you've been to um, the silos in Waco, Texas, you know what I'm talking about. If you've been to Round Top, and Warrington, you know what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, maybe you will one day, and I'll tell you, it is fabulous. We, we, I just can't say enough about it. Um, I got in a lot of trouble when they said to me that with anything you uh, want, if it's over a hundred dollars, if you're, if your order or your, if you buy merchandise, a hundred dollars or more, there's free shipping. So, so that just made it so easy for us to spend money at um, the Magnolia store and then have it shipped and it came when I was in um, Paso Robles. But um, hi, Marie. I must tell you, it's seven o'clock. I hope you don't mind me telling you a little bit about my vacation. There was a few highlights and um, one of them was the grist mill um, tour. We, um, that is where Joanna Gaines does her cooking show. And uh, long story short, but that was, uh, I'm not gonna tell you the whole thing because we're here to stamp, but um, <clears throat> that was a highlight of our, of our vacation. A pressing flowers was another fun, 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 fun thing. And taking a tour of their um, castle was simply amazing. And staying in their hotel was beyond unbelievable it was unbelievable it was great from the staff to the hotel itself the ambiance all of it but uh, two other wonderful things happened on the last part of my vacation I got to go up to Allison's house she lives in Shannon which is by right by Paso Robles I always say Pas Paso Robles because hardly anybody knows where Shannon is it's a little tiny town before Paso and one of my downline um, Florence who has been with me should, January will be two years I had not ever met in person and she lives in, um, hi Patsy, she lives in Pismo. So um, I got a hold of her and I was able to go to lunch. Ken and I were able to meet her for lunch in Pismo and we had the most spectacular time. I love Florence, what a one, I already knew I did. Um, she is a wonderful, wonderful person, a great lady, very talented in many ways. We had a lot in common. It was so surprising to hear how much we had in common and we just talked away for hours at lunch. And then the other wonderful thing that happened is um, I got a new recruit. She, you'll recognize her name. She watches here um, on my lives. Her name's Becky, Becky White, and she's from Kentucky. And she signed up with me the last day of the promotion, which was Halloween. So I can't wait to get to know Becky a little bit better. So those are uh, the highlights, um, a lot in between, so much I can't get into on these lives because you're here for stamping, but um, 
vacation was wonderful. Yes, I'm tired. We've been baking and doing all kinds of things when I got home, but um, now I'm ready to get back to business. So I start working right now and then again in the morning and open house is coming up this week too. So that's exciting. So I'm going to turn you down. Hi, Jean. And um, we're going to start. I'm going to show you what the ladies get to make on Thursday at open house as their free make and take. That's right. It's free. Everybody that comes, all they have to do is RSVP, they're either a regular and I know they're coming, or if they're not a regular, they just RSVP and then we have a packet for them. So I'm gonna show you what that's all about tonight. So let me turn you down. And turn you around. Okay, Jean, great. I always look forward to seeing my Jean. Turn this around. There we go. And then let's just go in just a bit. Okay. All right. So welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. I am your hostess tonight. I am Beverly Morales and I live in Tracy, California. I have a November host code for you. Remember um, that we have some an online exclusive suite that is available to you on Wednesday, I think, believe Wednesday's the 5th. And um, so if you want to place an order with me now or then, here is the host code. If your order is under $150, please use the host code. If it's over $150 before shipping, handling, and tax, no need to use the host code. You are going to be the hostess and you are going to earn free merchandise. Where can you shop with me? Right here at beverlystamps.stampinup.net. You can also send your friends or you can watch me on YouTube. My channel is just my name. And if you need to speak with me, please email me at mofun44 at icloud.com. I don't check Messenger that often, but I see my emails right away. Okay. So here is uh, the items that I used for the uh, Facebook Live today, we have a stamps and dies, the bundle of hearts. It's The bundle is called Hearts of Elegance, and here is its number, and it's an online exclusive. I also use the Nest of Christmas. That is the stamp set that came in um, the October Paper Pumpkin Kit. Cardstock is very vanilla. This is a Bev card, and um, you can find that very vanilla cardstock. Here is the number, but it's in the annual catalog. I'm also using Versamark ink. It's in the annual catalog, and a blend cherry cobbler if necessary, and you'll understand when I get to that part. And that's those are in, all blends are in the annual catalog. I'm using two folders tonight: the Painted Trees 3D folder, and um, that's in the mini catalog, and the Forever Plaid is in the annual catalog. Welcome, Lisa. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to do some embossing. We're going to use the Metallic Wows embossing powder. That is the code, and it's in the annual catalog as well. Embellishments are Cherry Cobbler Pearl Adhesive Back Berries. I think they're um, an online exclusive. I, uh, I know that is the code but I, uh, their code number, but I could find them in either catalog or online. Hey, Wanda, so, but I think they're online and I was just missing them. But if you know where they are, um, let me know if I'm wrong there. But there's the code if you want them when you see them. Okay, then let's see what else we have here. Uh-oh, it doubled it. It doubled it instead of, oh, it did the back. Okay, good. All right, so um, combo pack. Gold and silver ribbon is what I'm using tonight. But on, some, hi Lynn, on some of the make and takes, the ladies will get the gold twisted thread, which is a new online item. And uh, there is the item code and it's an online exclusive. All right, the tools I use, my, my embossing toolkit, um, annual catalog, my heat tool also in the annual catalog. My Stampin' and Cut and Emboss Machine, a bone folder, take your pick tool, paper trimmer, snips, and all of those are in the annual catalog. And then your adhesives are the dimensionals, liquid glue, mini glue dots, all in the annual catalog as well. 
All right. So here I'll turn it sideways so you can take a snapshot. Some of you like to take a snapshot and then have the items there. And there is the rest of it. Hi, Annie. All right. All righty, let's move that out of the way. Now I'm gonna start off by showing you the card. We are gonna make a Christmas card, but it's in the shape of a heart. And I think it's absolutely darling. It's full of texture. Hi, Linda. You'll see the plaid, you see the trees. It's got copper um, embossing and the berries there. And you open it up like this and you have a heart shaped Christmas card. So let me know what you think about that. Remember that your comments your thumbs up, your hearts, any remarks that you make helps my algorithm and I really, really in, um, appreciate you helping my algorithm. All right, so there we go, here is the card. Here is how my packs come at Open House. Everybody that's coming will get a pack like this with a lot of the work done for them so they can just put it together but some of the work is not done so they can do a little bit of crafting on their own. So I'm gonna grab a pack out and I'm gonna make one here for you tonight. The reason I do this is because the ladies will see that are coming. Yes, the cherry cobbler and pearl adhesive are an online exclusive. Thank you so much, Bev. I knew you would know. I couldn't find them, but I punched the number in and they popped up, so I figured that that's what they were. All right, so um, here is what is in the kit. And I like to do this just the um, closest, well, Wednesday is the closest, but to give my uh, customers a little bit of time to watch this video and to see what to expect when they come to open house and they know what to do, so I don't have to mentor them too much unless they need the help. Of course, I'm always there to help them if they need it. All right, so in the dies, we are using the largest die, and this die that I used in a pop-up last week, and I showed you the um, technique that I use with chapstick on getting your paper to fall right out. So if you didn't see that, go back and look at that. Hello, Lori. And then also what I love about this uh, die set is it comes with some leaves and sprigs right here like this. And here are the dies to cut those out as well. Okay. So let me put these off to the side so I don't lose them. And here, I showed you in at um, a live a back a couple of weeks ago how to cut out these hearts and make it attached like this, right? So all you do is you fold your cardstock like a regular card, you put your die on the card, but you leave a space where the fold is, just like this. You can see the space right here. And of course, it won't cut there. So when you, re when you remove the die, instead of having two hearts, you have hearts that are attached like that. Hi, Richard. Then if you use another piece of, Claudia, hello. If you use another piece of cardstock and you cut out the large heart again, you'll mount it on top of the folded um, hearts. And that's what makes your card base. Okay, All right, so let's look at this and let's see what we've got here. We've got the large heart is plaid and the small heart has a Christmas tree on it. So let me get my cut and boss machine and my folders and we're gonna do that part right now. Okay.
Here are the folders, Forever Plaid and Painted Trees. So I'm going to take the smaller of the two hearts and I am going to place the tree right. I'm going to place the cardstock partially into the folder. The folder, um, let me see, how do I explain this? The trees are running in this direction, so portrait style. If I were to put my heart in like this, I would get the tree sideways. So I only want one tree, so I have enough room to stamp. So I'm just gonna place it in at the bottom, part of the way, and only get half, not even half of the heart embossed with this tree. Okay. Hi, Vicki, welcome. What did I do here? Oops, I got one too many pieces in here. I forgot to take number two out. So that was a good little lesson. If your machine is giving you trouble, if it's not going through very easily, then you have one too many platforms in. Hello, Valerie, welcome. So now see how easy this is going through. Hi, Florence. All right. So let's look at this one. See what we have. And we have the heart with the tree on there. Okay. Now I'm going to take the plaid and I want the whole heart, hi Rosemary, to be plaid. So I am just going to set it in my folder trying to make sure it's straight and then I will place it in my machine. beautiful plaid embossed folder. Um, I just love the look of this. Okay, so we've got these two together. I'm going to put this away and move my machine for now, and then we're going to do some embossing. So for those of you that just came in right now, this is the make and take for Thursday's open house. I see some of my regulars are on here. So this is what you're going to be making. Here is the card itself. And we are, let's look at the sample. There is nothing interfering with the plaid heart and the card, so I feel comfortable putting it down. Now, what I want to be, make you aware of is we have a full heart here and we have the cutoff part of the heart on this piece. So what do I always teach you? We want to put... I wish you could too, Vicki. Someday you will. Someday you will. You and me and Marsha are going to have a great time when you're able to come to California. I just saw Marsha yesterday, by the way. Um, I was, <clears throat> I have the um, Joanna Gaines cookbook. I've had it for years. My daughter bought it for me for my birthday years ago. And after eating at her restaurants in Texas, I had to just make her biscuits. They are the best ever. So I made them yesterday. And um, after I made them, I, I text Marsha, or I think I called her and I asked her if she was home and she said yes. And so I said, well, would you like me to bring you some hot biscuits? Oh my gosh, she was so happy. She loved them so much. They are delicious. My husband's not a bread eater. But um, he said, those are the best biscuits I've ever had. So, yeah, they're really good. So there's the, there's the base of the card done, done like that. 
Now we're gonna work on this layer piece here and we're gonna emboss the sentiment. I haven't got to, because I've been gone, I haven't been able to play with my paper pumpkin from October, but I plant, that's one of my, on my to-do list. So I will get to it. And I will share what I do when I, when I do um, play with it. Here is the embossing powder, the Metallics Wow. And I'm going to use the copper in the pack. And I've got my little tray. I'm going to use my embossing buddy. And I'm going to rub it onto the cardstock just to take away any static cling that may be there. This embossing buddy comes with the tray. And I gave you the list uh, at the beginning. And then we have the... Uh, paintbrush if you need it and the reverse tweezers if you need those to hold it's nice to hold your item with the reverse um, tweezers so you don't use your fingers and get burnt but to stamp we need Versamark ink so let me get that here's my Versamark ink here is my stamp now, Versamark ink is a clear ink, so when I stamp it onto the vanilla cardstock, you may not see anything other than a watermark, for lack of a better term, and um, that is because this ink is clear. So I'm gonna stamp joyful thoughts to you this season, right there in the flat part of the heart where I didn't emboss anything. See what I mean? You can't see anything yet. Then I'm going to bring my tray over. And open up my powder. And just sprinkle powder in the area that you stamped. Tap onto my tray and look how beautiful that is. Now if I touch this right now, it will smear right off because it's dry powder that is laying on wet ink. So we need to heat that up, and this is called embossing. When you heat it up, it um, melts the powder to the ink. So I'm turning on my heat tool. Now our heat tool, hi Nina, has two uh, settings. This is low. It's a little cooler, and this is high. I always use high. I think I would use low on maybe a vellum or some paper that you think might melt. But in this case, we've got vanilla cardstock, so we're good. And I'm just going to point it at this, the word this, right now, and see how it's starting to turn shiny. Now Joyful in 2 is turning shiny. And see, so I'm moving over to season and you and thoughts. Season is done and thoughts to you is done. So I'm gently going over the whole thing. And um, making sure that I don't see anything dull on there. Thank you, Vicki. Oh, you know, I... I love Marsha. She's, she's, did you know, I don't know, you might not know this, Vicki, but Marsha is godmother to my daughter, Allison. Yes, she is. And I just love her. And um, whenever we bake, we, um, we try to share. So my daughter made sourdough breads. She had been promising Lori that for a while, but, you know, things got in the way and we couldn't get to it till now. And then I made those biscuits, and so we shared, and she was so happy. Okay, so there's everything back in my tray for this part, but I'm going to bring it back again. We're going to come back to the card and see how this layers on there. Now, I embossed these two already, and I did it the same exact way I just did this, and then I took those dies I showed you and cut them out. So this is all going to be in the pack for everyone. So what we're gonna do now, I ran out of the gold. This is the new gold ribbon that's in the suite that's um, 
that's in the uh, that's going to be available on the fifth. That sourdough bread looks so good. Oh, it was to die for, Vicky. Um, yeah, it was really good. Um, so I ran out of that. So today I'm so. Some of the people are going to get the gold in their packets, and some of them are going to get the silver um, from the gold trim, silver and gold. But it's all going to look beautiful. So let me get my dimensionals here and my snips. And I've got a pack of dimensionals that's very well used and loved, so I'm going to cut the edges here and use those. So in order to get this design with your thread of choice. All, we're we're going to use dimensionals to lift this heart onto this heart anyway. So let's just put this down. We don't want to block the this. So I'm just going to turn this over. Hi, Stephanie. And I'm going to stick this dimensional right on the ribbon and then pull this down snip enough so I can tuck it under and pull another piece of dimensional and hold the ribbon down. See how that's starting to look? Now each design can be a little bit different depending on where you stamped, but you get the idea. Okay, so I'm going to leave a little bit over the edge so I can tuck and then a little bit over this edge so I can tuck again. Grab a dimensional and do the same thing again. It's very easy. Yeah, so being... Um, being at Magnolia Silos and all of Joanna and Chip's um, places, it inspired me so much. Oh my gosh, my head is spinning. I, I love her, um, her gardening. I love her cooking. Well, I'm not a cook. Let me correct that. I love her baking. My daughter's the cook. And um, I love her home decor. And I love her style. So I was just in heaven the whole time. And so is my daughter. Her, her and I are exactly, we decorate my house and, she, you know, we were exactly the same. So it was perfect. And we both walk a lot. We exercise and things. And so we didn't get tired. Um, she was amazed because I'm quite a bit older than her. And I could keep up with her. She could keep up with me, as she puts it. But, um, whoops. Back down there. And um, so we got our exercise in. But we ate too much. Or, well, I ate too much. She never eats too much. And I'm still eating too much. I'm done now. Tomorrow, tomorrow, well, tonight. Starting tonight, I'm done. Okay, so look at that. So this, this gold is much narrower, and of course gold, and this is silver and thicker, but I just love either one. They both are very, very pretty. Now I'm gonna add more dimensionals on the back of this, on the back of the heart, because those little pieces aren't gonna hold it up as much as I want it to, to be. So let's just cut some and add them. So I did um, talk to a couple of people. I want the rest of my downline, if you're watching, those of you who are in my downline, if you're watching, I'm seriously thinking about going to North Carolina in March to On Stage. Everybody is welcome, of course. I did talk to my two managers and another one of my downline, and they are pretty sure they can, they're going to go with me. But the more the merrier. So um, call me, text me, see me in person, whatever, and let's talk about getting that all going. It's never too early to start thinking about it. 
So what I'm doing now is I'm just peeling off all the paper backings of the dimensionals. And then we're gonna flip that and put it on the card. Okay. So I like to make sure that I line up the peaks of the hearts right here to get it nice and even, okay? All right, now we're gonna take some mini glue dots and we're gonna take the little sprigs that come in the set, in the bundle, and we're just gonna set that right in here, like that. And then these little leaves, will be pressed in right like that. I think the shape of having a heart Christmas card is very unique. I think it will stand out and cause joy when the recipient gets it. These are the little um, online exclusive gems, adhesives that I talked about. And I said I was gonna mention um, the Cherry Cobbler Blend. This one, I don't need to do it because it happened to have, this pack happened to have the three little gems in there. Thanks, Florence. But if you have separate gems like this one was, or clear ones, you just take your cherry cobbler blend and you take the wide end. Now remember, the, the pens are double-ended and double-sided, and so they have a thin end and a wide end, so this is the wide brush. Thanks, Lynn. And all you have to do if your um, adhesives are not red is color them with your blend, and then you will have the red, okay? All right, so now on this one here, I took the fern that comes in the stamp set and again, just with Versamark, what do we do first? We use the embossing buddy. Thank you, Vicki. And um, our Versamark ink. Tap, tap, tap. And I stamp once. I always say this when I do once, twice. Twice. You know what I'm going to say? Three times a lady. <laughs> and three times. There you go. Okay, let's close this up. Bring back my tray and my reversed tweezers. Oh, you know what was funny? Um, when I was at the pressed flower class at Magnolia Market, they had tear and tape, snips, a paintbrush, a pencil, uh, and tweezers. Yeah. So I was thinking, oh my gosh, we have all the tools that we need with our Stampin' Up! stuff um, for pressed flowers. So I was thrilled with that, and I've already been asked if I'm gonna do a press flower class. So if we have enough interest, I can do that. So I'm gonna take my heat tool again, and I'm going to heat up these ferns on the inside, and then you can just write your message, or you can uh, stamp Merry Christmas, whatever you'd like to do on the inside. So see how I just point at one spot until it, until it embosses and then I move it. If you move it around like this all over the place, it's just, it's gonna still work. It's just gonna take a little longer. So here it is in silver or gold, whichever you prefer. 
This is in the annual catalog. This is an, this um, twine or ribbon, whatever, cording. It's in the, um, online, um, available on the 5th. Okay, so I have these little, uh, what do you call these? Can't think of it right now. And this looks so cute setting on it like that. Easel, that's what it's called. I would like to learn how to press flowers. Okay, Vera, I have a neighbor that wants to too, so I'm gonna start pressing um, some flowers to have them available. Um, and then, yeah, an easel. <laughs> and then when I get enough, then I'll, it'd probably be, mm, probably be in January or something. Um, but anyway, I'll start preparing for that. Uh, so here is the card for today. This is the card you will make if you are coming to open house. So I hope you like it. Um, most of the work will be done for you, but you're gonna do some embossing and some um, using the uh, folders. Are there any questions, my friends? No? Okay. Don't forget to email if you think of something later. Thanks for being here. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.